All right, Warrior Kids, we are ready for a great class today, okay? So make sure that you are ready. Remember, we're talking about commitment right now, so don't get distracted, all right? Don't get halfway through a drill and quit. I want to see if you can make it all the way through the whole class today without stopping a bit. Now, you can stop if you need to grab equipment. You can stop if you want to grab a glass of water or something, but don't stop halfway through a drill because you're tired. Everybody gets tired, but warriors push through. Let's do it. So we're going to face front. We're going to do a strong bow. All right, say these academy tenants with me. I will demonstrate leadership, strength, commitment, knowledge, respect, sir, and a strong vow. All right, so the reason we say those every class is to remind ourselves to be a good leader, to be strong, to not give up, to be a, a lifelong student, to learn things, and also to show respect, okay? It is so important to respect other people uh, as far as you know, listening to other people, having them listen to you, and just being able to be an awesome, respectful student, okay? Now, from here, we will need a chair, by the way, later for class. So when we get to that portion of class, you want to get a chair. I like a folding chair, but if you have a kitchen chair, that'll work too. All right, let's go race dance. How many jumping jacks should we do? I'll let you choose between 10 and 10. 10, good choice. Here we go, let's get 10 jumping jacks, ready to go. One, sir, two, sir, three, sir, four, sir, five, sir, six, sir, seven, sir, eight, sir, nine, sir, 10, sir. All right, very good, very good. We are working this week on a uh, sparring bounce warm up. So what I'm gonna do is get in my sparring stance. It doesn't matter which leg you put in front right now, all right, but you're not gonna have any weight on your heels, okay? So my heels are barely even on the floor, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop forward with both feet and back. We're very tiny, okay, and very low, but I'm going front, back, front, back. Try that. And look, I'll turn sideways so you can see my feet are both going at the same speed. Back, forward, back, forward. Good. All right, let's switch legs. Good. Good. And relax. All right. Now, the only thing we're going to change here is that when I clap my hands, you guys are going to switch feet, okay? So when I clap my hands, you're going to switch feet, okay? So that's it. So we're going to hop forward, back, forward, back. When I clap, switch. All right. Now, you guys keep on going. Ready? Hop forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. Good. And switch. All right. Forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. Good, keep going forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. Ah, uh, tricked you. All right, good, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. Good, two more, ready, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. Good, switch, one more time, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, and switch. Good job, time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so what we're gonna do from here is I'm gonna send you in to a video challenge to get the class going, then we're gonna stretch a little bit. So this video challenge is the duck, jump, avoid. Some of you have already mastered the order of all this, and that's awesome, okay? So there's a couple things you need to know. When the sword chops high, you're going to duck. When the sword chops low, you're going to jump. When the sword comes to the middle, you're going to avoid. When the yellow, no, when the red pops up, it says elbow strike. You'll do an elbow strike. When the uh, yellow pops up, it's a knee strike, okay? Besides that, there's three levels where you have to run in place for 10 seconds without stopping, okay? So I'm going to send you into the video challenge. We're going to see how you do on the other end, and then we're going to get some stretches in. All right, good luck.
All right, Warrior Kids, take a load off. Go ahead and have a seat and relax. We're going to go through our stretches now. I'm telling you, that last level is intense. All right, so let's go leg straight, feet together, and we're going to lean our whole body forward, try to grab onto your toes. Now, remember, you know how hard you're stretching, and you want to feel the uncomfortableness, but it shouldn't be a lot of pain, okay? If it's a lot of pain, you're not doing it right. Ready? Let's go as low as we can. Hold it for 10 seconds. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, two, one. Come on up. One leg straight. The other leg's going to go around behind me. So from here, whatever leg is straight, I'm going to lean my chest forward, reach with my hands, and put my head down like this for 10, 9, 8, 7, a little bit lower, 6, 5. Look down at your leg. Four, three, two, one. All right, we're going to switch. Remember when we switch, I'm going to swing that leg behind me, keep my knees away from each other. All right, now we're going to lean in, hold on to the other side for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, a little bit lower. Five, four, three, two, a little bit lower. One, and relax. All right, let's bring both of them out. So again, I've said this before. Right now, I don't feel any tightness in my legs, okay? So I don't feel any tightness. I need to move my legs out a little bit wider. Oh, there it is. Now I feel the tightness. So I want to feel that tightness before I do the stretch, all right? So remember, going all the way one way, all the way the other way is one. Let's count 10 of these, ready? And one, sir, two, sir, three, sir, four, sir, five, sir, six, sir, seven, sir, eight, sir, nine, sir, and 10, sir. Very good, legs out a little bit wider. Now we're gonna stretch down the middle, leaning forward, you can put your hands on the floor if you want to. Okay, you can move your hands way out if you want, or you can take your hands, put them on your feet, and lean forward. Hold that stretch. Ooh, good, deep stretch here. A little bit lower, hold it. A little bit lower, hold it. Head down to the floor. Hold it, three, two, one. Last one, butterfly stretch. Bottoms of our feet together. All right, we're gonna move them up and down, just like their butterfly wings. Okay, that kind of gets the muscles warmed up, stretched out, ready to go. Very good. From here, I'm going to adjust the camera. You guys go ahead and hop up and get five more jumping jacks, all right? All right, again, for this drill, you're going to need a chair. So if you need to pause the video to grab that, uh, awesome. If you already had it from one of the last drills, that's awesome too. Okay, so we're going to start off. The way we start off with several of these is working on some chair squats. So chair squats, again, I'm going to go down to my rear touches and then come right back up. All right, we're going to start with 10 chair squats. So hands in guard and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten all right now from here we're going to work on our roundhouse kick so again if you have 
a low back chair like this, that'd be good. If it's too high to hold, you want to grab something else you can hold on to for this drill. All right, but what we're doing, four count roundhouse. So I'm going to go kind of at an angle a little bit here, just so you can see better. So from here, actually, you may be better if I point straight at you. So from here, I'm holding the chair here for balance, okay? When I count one, we're going to bring this knee up and hold our foot behind our back. Okay, this is probably the hardest point to get to. You can see my knee pointed right at you. So my knee should not be here, it should be here. Two, I'm gonna kick, three, pull back, and then four, set back down. This is a tough one, do your very best. If you're struggling, you can lift up here and then point your knee that way. I just think it's easier to lift your knee and then grab your foot, okay? So ready, and one, hold it up here. Good, two, kick it out. Three, bring it back and hold. Four, set down. What a lot of people do when they do this kick is they kick and then they kind of drop it. Well, that's not good if I want to do more than one kick, right? So this drill is crazy good for this. Ready? One, hold your leg. Two, execute it out. Three, bring it back. Then four, set down. Good. Couple more. Ready? One, two, three, four, two more. One, two, three, four. Last one. One, two, three, and four. All right, now we're gonna pick that leg up into first position and we're gonna execute five roundhouse kicks from there. So ready, hold on to the chair for balance. One, now we're gonna execute five round kicks. One, two, three, four, five. Great job, other side, here we go. So again, that first position is nice and tight here. Okay, my knee is pointed towards you, your knee's pointed towards me. Kick out two, three, grab a hold again, and four, set down. Here we go, ready, four more, one. Oops, where do I need to go? One, two, three, and four. Good, ready, and one, two, three, four. These are tough. One, two, three, four. I believe we have one more. One, two, three, and four. Just like the other side, we're going to go to first position, and then we're going to execute five roundhouse kicks. Here we go. And one, hold it. Get your balance and five round kicks. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Whoo! Feeling the burn. Here we go. Flip that chair around. Now, from here, what we're gonna work is I'm gonna sit, touch, lift. Round kick one, round kick two. What I wanna be careful of is I don't bring my foot back hitting the chair. Remember, when I chamber, my knee comes up, then I tuck, and then I throw the kick, okay? So if you need to, step out a bit once you stand up. All right, we're gonna get five of these. Ready, so squat in, lift, one, two, that's one. Touch, stand, one, two, that's two. Squat, stand, one, two, that's three. Squat, stand, one, two, that's four. Squat, stand, one, and two. Again, with these kicks, I'm not going very high at all on purpose, okay? But if you wanna kick higher, you can when you try, try these. More importantly, we wanna kick correctly with that knee pointed straight at your target. All right, good job. Let's go on to the next drill. All right, so go ahead and grab your commas. We're gonna do a drill with our commas. So it's not necessarily uh, just for our form, but it's just gonna be uh, a couple things because several of you asked about using these after this testing cycle. And yes, you can always create your own form with these. So I'm gonna show you a couple things that you can do with your commas. Now, be careful. And if you don't feel confident doing one of the moves, especially if it's a release, then don't do it, okay? So first, what we're gonna work on is a basic release, okay? And so what we wanna be able to do is catch the, catch the comma and get used to its weight. All right, every comma is different. So if I throw this one up like this and catch it, uh, and I grab a plastic one, it's gonna be very different because these are lighter weight than the plastic ones are, okay? Whereas if I get a hard set of wood ones, and those are much heavier than this. So yeah, I'm gonna here, I'm gonna bring it up, and what I wanna try to have it do is kinda stay flat like this for now. Just trying to control it. You can do the other one also. Good, just a ba this is called a basic release. What we're doing is we're just getting used to how long it stays in the air, all right? If you dropped it, that's okay, pick it up. Just be careful, especially if you have sharp ones. Not sharp end, but some of the points on the plastic ones can actually be sharp. All right, now what we're gonna do is a, uh, a forward spin. Now this is more dangerous, so please be careful. I'm not throwing this hard, so even if I hit myself with it, it would not hurt, all right? Now, you know the motion when you take a drink of water, okay? I do this with my wrist, right? Well, I'm gonna do that with my wrist at the very end. I'm gonna keep it in front of me though. I'm not throwing it back at myself. I'm bringing it up, and then I just do this little twist with my fingers and my thumb at the very end, okay? Again, like you're drinking a glass of water. So I'm here, I go up, 
and turn. So again, so you can see how slow this thing is turning. So it's not going to hurt me. But I want to catch it the same way that I did, uh, that I was grabbing originally. So I don't want to grab it this way. Okay, I don't want to do the handle backwards. All right, so I'm here. I bring my hand up, and that just that little action at the end. Okay, you can try your other hand. Once you get one down, good. Again, a small motion. I don't need to go fast with this. I'm just doing this at the very end. I'm going up with it, okay? I'm not going back with it. I don't want it to come back at me. All right, so I can do one, I can do the other. I do drop mine also, so I mean, it could happen. All right, it happens. Good, all right. So now what we do is we could do things like I could chop and throw at the same time and catch with the other hand. That's harder, I know, but it, be careful. And again, if you're not comfortable with it, that's okay. Just work on your chop punch. All right, that's fine. Shot punch, great combo. All right, but if I'm comfortable with one hand doing this move, then what I do is I bring my other one back like I'm gonna hug the chop, and I bring it under as it rolls over. All right, again, it's a little more advanced because I've got a lot going on here, okay? And it's okay to not do this now and practice as you get better. All right, I'm gonna try the other side. Whoa, that was almost, almost bad. I almost dropped it. Good, a couple more times on this. All right, I'm gonna do one more. All right, very good. So another thing that you can do is, uh, is and when you're doing your form even now, is do your skip, front kick, chop, okay? Come here and punch. All right, you can always add some fun stuff. Or as you're doing the chop before the punch, all right, you can kind of add that stuff in, you know, here. Boom, chop, punch, okay? That's okay to add in if you like, all right? We're going to do two other moves. One, much easier, and one, a little harder, depending on the weight of your commas, okay? This one's called a seven strike, okay? Seven, uh, go one way and then diagonally down. One straight and then diagonally down. So that would be a seven uh, attack or seven strike, okay? So they're kind of cool if I'm doing my own form. Boom, 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 boom. Seven, okay? And just kind of do those type of moves. So seven would be here, all right? Cross and back or the other way, you know, either one. I like going out and then down, but you can also go back and then out, either one. So that's a seven strike. Eyes in, down, in, down. All right, so you can get those kind of going fast, and if you're shiny like these, they look kind of like a disco ball flying around in your hands. All right, we're going to do one more move, and again, you feel free to pause, rewind, fast forward, whatever you need to do uh, to do these drills, okay? This is called a finger roll, and if I'm going to drop it, this is where I would drop it, okay? So when I do this one, I'm bringing it up, that same motion, but this time the comma flips. I'm trying to go slow motion. Flips over my finger, but doesn't leave. It doesn't break contact with my hand. So I go up here. I do the same Thing I did before with my wrist, except now I'm doing it with my finger, okay? So I'm here, and my finger draws a little circle with the comma in it. Whoa, see, I almost lost it. All right, up and around. Let's see if I can do this one here. I don't know if I ever really do my left hand very much. Up and around. Here we go. Up and around. Good. So I'm bringing it up. So it depends on uh, the weight of your comma of where your finger goes, okay? So for some commas, you may need to have your finger down lower, for some up higher, okay? And again, I'm being very careful not to go fast, just in case, right? All right, safety first, kids. And adults. <laughs> Good. All right. So that's your finger roll, your seven strike, and then your wrist release, or your release, rather. All right. Great job. And let's keep training. Yeah, we're going to jump straight into uh, our form section of class. So remember, when you have your commas, you want to hold them towards the middle, blades always facing away from you. If you have stingers at the bottom, you want to be especially careful when you lift up the kick so that you don't hurt yourself. Okay. So go ahead and grab your commas. We're going to do today teaching style, which means if you were here in the academy with me, you'd be standing right behind me so you kind of see at an angle what I'm doing. So I'm going to stand in front of you as if you're standing behind me. So you're going to follow along as if you're right here in class with me. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is put our commas by our sides. Face front, I'm going to scoot here. Let's see. Yep, that's be good. Good. I'm going to face front. Strong bow. All right. From there, my left leg steps out. Commas go up above my head, and I just cross them a little bit. From here, my left leg steps out like I'm getting on a big, fat horse. So I'm stepping out. Elbows drive down like this. From there, take your right arm forward attack, then left arm, kind of like a punch. From there, I'm going to take the left hand, the one that's out. I'm going to bring it to my opposite shoulder. Other hand crosses underneath. So you can see how tight my arms are crossed. I turn my toes to the front corner and low block. So my low block is right above my knee, so I've got my same leg as the arm that's down, okay? Now that leg's going to skip front kick. So my hands come up. I go up with the back, skip, kick with the front. Then from there, I land, but I hug. Before I land my other foot, uh, I'm going to hug, and then I get my chop when I land, okay? So the chop comes from the top, across, then punch with the backhand. All right, now from there, we're going to do the same four moves the other way. So as I turn my toes, I don't step, watch, my toes just turn. I hug my right arm on top. Now my right arm does my low block. Now we're going this direction, okay? So my left leg's gonna come up, my right leg's gonna skip front kick. So I go up, skip front kick, hug, then when I land, chop, 
from there, back arm punch. So that is section one. And if you're a white through green belt, that's all you have to know for your form stripe, okay? So remember, if you're in-person classes as well as online, you can show us your form when you're in class for your stripe. If you're only online, then you can send us a video of you guys doing the whole form and we'll send you your form stripe, okay? So let's do section one again. And then we'll do section two and three for those of you that have it. Now, if you're a green belt and below, you're allowed to practice the whole form if you want to, but you only have to know section one. And if we get to section two and you don't want to do it, that's okay. I want you to practice section one again and again until you get it perfect, okay? Make it nice and sharp, all right? So from here, commas ready. Strong bow. Left leg steps out. All right, from here, stay with me. Left leg steps out. Elbows come down. Ayah, loud yell. Right forward attack, left forward attack. Notice, where's my right hand right now? It's right on my belt. It's not hanging down here. Nice and sharp. Take your left arm, hug it on top, other arm on bottom. Turn your toes, low block, okay? Front stance here, my front knee is bent, my back leg is straight, and I've got my comma right above my knee. From here, hands come up, skip front kick. Up with the back, kick with the front, up, boom, front kick. Then hug, then chop, back arm punch. Remember from here, I'm gonna turn my toes, I'm gonna hug, but I'm not gonna step anywhere. So I turn my toes, hug, and low block. From there, my right side's in front, my hands come up, skip right, front kick, hug, right chop, left punch. From here, go ahead and start over and practice. If you're a green belt or below, okay? If you're a blue belt and above, let's go section two. From here, I'm gonna point my left hand forward. So the one that was here, I'm gonna point it forward. My left leg goes behind me. My right arm goes up for high block, hug tight, low block. Then I do it again. Step back, left side now, high block, hug on top, low block. All right, I'm gonna scoot over here so you can see me a little bit better. All right, from here, my front foot is my left foot, okay? My right foot doesn't do anything. My front foot goes from a little back stance up to a big front stance. From there, back arm does a punch. This is the same movement you would do if you were doing like an elbow smash to break a board, okay? So my front foot goes from a little back stance. I go from here, step forward or adjust, back arm punch. So left foot, right hand. If you're a black belt from here, you're allowed to do a two-step run jump side kick. I'll show you that in a second. If you're not a black belt yet, or if you are a black belt, you want to do a different one, then you can go from here, back leg, front kick, land, skip front kick, and then for brown belts and above, we have a jump front kick, and then we land in a sitting stance, low block from here. So again, I'm going towards the front, you're going towards the, your screen right now with a low block from here, okay? All right, so that is section two. Only brown belts and above have section three. I'll cover that in a minute. Let me show you that run jump side kick again, but let's go back through section number two just to get it. So right foot, again, white and yellow belts, orange and green. Keep on working hard on section number one. You guys got it. Keep practicing over and over again to make it good. Right foot, left hand. Drag your left hand forward. Drag your left foot back, right high, low in that, in that back stance. Then step back again, left high, low in that back stance. My front foot goes over to the front stance, back arm punch. If you're a black belt, you want to do the run jump side kick, it looks like this. I'll go low and slow for you. I step with a right, left, chamber, jump, side kick, and then land down. If you're not a black belt or if you don't want to do that as a black belt, we're going to go back leg, lifts, front kick, skip front kick. Then a brown belt and above, you're going to jump front kick, hug, low block coming towards your screen, okay? All right, very good. Now, for those of you that have section three, brown belts and above, we're going to hop towards the back of the classroom, hook kick if you're brown and red, Hook kick, round kick if you're a black belt. So you're gonna go away from your screen. So as if you're, you're standing here, you're gonna go with me this direction, okay? Back away from your screen. My left leg, I'm gonna hop, hook kick, or for black belts, hook round, land, chop, elbow. Same four moves to the front. I look over my right shoulder, hop hook, or hop hook kick, round kick, chop, elbow strike. Now black belts, you have three additional moves. My front leg goes behind me. But not the easy, quick way, just by stepping back. It goes from here. I go, my front foot steps all the way, becomes my back foot. Reverse hook. So it's kind of like a knife hand here, okay, with my back arm. That's the right foot, right hand. From there, left punch, right punch, and yell. Ayah! All right, team, that's your form. So if you want to, you can back this up, and you can go through it again if you need more practice on it. Or if you know it by yourself, you just want to pause this and practice a couple times. Remember, knowing it is not the goal. Knowing it's great. But if you know it, but it looks kind of bad, it doesn't matter. I want you not to just know it. I want you to be able to demonstrate it with excellence, okay? So it is time to go for our next drill. So get ready. All right, Warrior Kids, you've had a great class today. You've done a wonderful job. Now we're going to finish up with a game called Mr. Mershad Says. So Mr. Mershad Says is very similar to Simon Says, if you know how the, that game works. So what I'm going to say is Mr. Mershad Says, and then I'm going to give you something to do. 
if I say Mr. Mershad says do a punch, then you would do a punch. But I'm going to try to trick you by not saying Mr. Mershad says. And if I say punch without saying Mr. Mershad says, you wouldn't do it. So only listen to me if I start the sentence with Mr. Mershad says. All right. Now, obviously, because I can't uh, be in your house right now, I don't know if you're going to be out or not. Okay. But just stay with me. See how many times you can get the move right. Okay. So only do what I say if I say Mr. Mershad says. Let's try it. Here we go. Ready? Go ahead and get in the sparring stance. If you got in a sparring stance, you'd be out of the game already. So I got you. All right, that's okay. That's okay. Come on back up. Let's do this again. Here we go. Ready? Mr. Mershad says, get in sparring stance. And Mr. Mershad says, high block. So you would high block because I said what? Mr. Mershad says. Yes, three magic words for this game. All right. Mr. Mershad says, do a punch. Good. Do a high block. Did you do it? Because Mr. Mershad did not say. All right. Mr. Mershad says, high block. Mr. Mershad says, punch. Mr. Mershad says, front kick. Other leg front kick. Mr. Mershad did not say other leg front kick. All right, it didn't get to that time. Here we go. Mr. Mershad says chop punch. Good. Mr. Mershad says chop punch. Good. One more time. Chop punch. Just because I say it loud doesn't mean I said Mr. Mershad says. All right, so I don't know if I got to that time or not. All right. Mr. Mershad says duck. Good duck. Only do it if Mr. Mershad says, right? Jump. Good. No good. Mr. Mershad says jump. There we go. All right. Mr. Mershad says duck. Good. Mr. Mershad says jump. Avoid. If you avoided, I got you. All right. We have three more. Three more. Let's see if I can get you again. All right. Ready? And let's do five punches. Go. One, two, three. Did Mr. Mershad say? No. All right. Here we go. A couple more. Ready? Mr. Mershad says 10 punches. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Mr. Mershad says spin in one circle. All right, last one. Mr. Mershad says, spin around in 10 circles in 10 seconds. Mr. Mershad says, 10 circles in 10 seconds. Set, go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Be careful. 3. Can you get all 10? 2, 1, and time. Now see if you can stand in a strong attention stance. Don't fall over. Face me. Strong bow. You guys did a great job. We will see you next time in class.